you're watching Andrea Mitchell reports, the Department of Justice has opened an investigation into the death of Freddie Gray, the 25 year old man who died in police custody of a fatal spinal injury. More than a thousand demonstrators marched from the West Baltimore spot where the arrest occurred to the city police headquarters. Baltimore's police commissioner says he understands the public's concern. I think again they're sharing their thoughts, they're sharing their concerns, and I hear them, and I and I understand. And uh, if I was a parent and that was my child that I lost, concern and I, I want to know and I want to react. But uh, uh, our job is also to have balance and and not to rush to a conclusion. And that's what the the, the, the direction is right now is get the evidence and make sure it's right because we're only going to have like one one chance at this. And joining us now is Baltimore City Councilman and Community Leader Brandon Scott. Uh, Mr. Scott, I appreciate your being here. Baltimore, as you know, has a black mayor and a black police commissioner. And you told the New York Times that unlike other places where incidents like this have happened, Ferguson, Missouri, North Charleston, South Carolina, they understand what it means to be black in America. So we don't yet know how uh, Freddie Gray died, but how has things how have things been different there? How does this still happen in that community? Well, it happens because we know in America we still have a, in Baltimore, no matter where you're in this country, we have a, a big image problem when it comes to young black males. It's a billion dollar industry that creates these negative stereotypes of young black males, and we have not started to address that. We have not started to address the issues with black men and the police. We have not started to address the issues but of black it be men different? with their families. Should it be no, different, Brandon, it, 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 in Baltimore because there's a black mayor and a black police chief? And the hope would be we don't no. know the specific race breakdown of the six individuals who have been uh, basically taken off, suspended, those six officers. But should it be different in Baltimore? What is failing to happen there? No, it, 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 we still have the same issues because not everyone that's in government is black. Not all our police officers are black. And even though we had a mayor and a police commissioner and uh, delegates and senators who went to our state legislature to change and tried to change some things in the police officers' bill of rights, none of that happened this year because it's not, it, that's not just encompassing on Baltimore. We need the entire state of Maryland's uh, representation to vote on that. It's not just a Baltimore thing. So this is another incident that shows the need for folks to come together and push. And we're all going to have to sit down at the table and give up some things. The police are going to have to give up some things we're gonna to have to give up some things so that we can continue not to have this conversation so what forward. do you want the police specifically what do you want the police specifically to give up that would make you more satisfied one of the concerns there despite conversations for years is that there are not yet body cams on all officers even though there have been discussions yeah, will, about testing a pilot program will, yeah there will be that the RFP is out I actually was on the task force for body cameras we have to when we roll something out that big it's going to have to be done the right way uh, yesterday I asked the police when they were in front of me at City Hall about putting cameras inside the wagons we will have body cameras this is something that every elected official in the city of Baltimore supports and we're going to have them uh, very soon but we also have to look at other things we also have to look at policy changes and policy changes are not a city thing that's a state thing we also have to look at culture changes and that's other things that we have to discuss moving forward you satisfied with your mayor and your police commissioner so far? Yeah, I'm satisfied with their handling of it thus far. We, we know that the, the more eyes on it, the better. I welcome the Justice Department coming in, but we all have a lot of work to do. There's no there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm a young black man living in Baltimore. I know. Yeah. I know that in my time, in my lifetime, it's gotten better. Yes, Baltimore is not the city that it was in 1993 when I was a kid and violence was out of control in a very, very much worse, at a worse pace. But yes, we still have issues to address and we all have to work together. I want Brandon. answers for Freddie Gray's fam family. I want answers for Ty Wong Shorts family, a young 14-year-old who recently lost his life in the city. Just finally and briefly, you lead these 300 men marches that are pushing for people to start taking responsibility uh, for what happens in their communities. How damaging is this for the mission that you're trying to accomplish? It's not damaging. We, we, we're the 300 men march against violence. We don't say what kind of violence. We're not particular to police violence. We're not particular to community violence, but we want everyone to know that the community has a role in this as well. Because just like I just said, you know, Freddie Gray's death is tragic. Yes, it is very. We have to get answers for his family. But we had a three-year-old shot in broad daylight last year, Mackenzie Elliott, and yep. no one has been able to help us get information for her family. We had a 14-year-old shot, Tywon Short, on April the 8th, and we haven't been get, able to get answers for his family. Unfortunately, the list well. Yeah, you're exactly right. The list is too long in that community. We appreciate Brandon Scott. You taking time with us, of course, a Baltimore City Councilman and a community leader there. Thank you for your time. Thank you.